Hi guys, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm going to paint a garden landscape with a stairway and lots of flowers and first of all I am going to introduce to you my materials I have here my paint palette and this is titanium white tallow blue the medium yellow the brilliant red the lump black and the barn china so you observe guys that I am using um, limited colors on palette it's because I want you to learn on how to mix and create the desired secondary or tertiary colors you want on your painting and please guys always practice mixing the more you do it the more you learn okay and this are my brushes I have here uh, one inch uh, flat brush another one inch flat brush with um, a, short, a soft and short bristle uh, this is good for painting uh, three leaves and this one is number seven flat brush for details number four flat brush and number one flat brush and number zero round brush for um, um, a little details like um, three branches okay and this is my canvas um, it's 12 by 16 uh, no 11 by 16 inches I made it myself I staple it in a plywood uh, with three coats of prime gesso okay and water as my medium okay so I'm going to start with the sketch now I'm, I am going to use um, the number number one flat brush and the burn china so it, my burn china is really thick and hard so I'm gonna put a little water in it to make it um, wet okay so just follow what I'm doing guys I'm gonna add a little white on it to make it lighter so first you're gonna paint um, triangular shape okay you can use chalk guys if you if you don't um, comfortable with using paint as you uh, to, to sketch so chalk is also good for for sketching okay so we have now the triangle then going to add the first This will be the first step of or the first panel of our stair. So this will be the top, this part. The second one. Another top. ok 
Okay, it's okay guys if if you if it's not um straight that's fine because I want it to be um some sort of stone staircase. And uh, the third one the fourth and the last okay okay And then I'm going to start with the with the background colors now. Okay, so I'm gonna use the then one inch flat brush and I'm gonna do the backgrounds. First, I'm gonna do first the top. So I'm gonna use the blue with black. Little black and white. Okay. And then I'm gonna add a little um, yellow to make it um, a sort of yellow grain with a, a little amount of red. And white. And yellow. Another white so you just have to blend this part guys the yellowish the green the bluish it will create um, an effect or an illusion that it has a forest on this on this area so just follow it and win guys You don't have to worry guys if it's not perfect. Okay. Also this part. Okay, now this part. This also. Want it to be green, a little yellow. Okay. And 
this part. More green. So you just have to blend the color, guys. Layers by layers. Okay, now. Wait, huh? I'm gonna make it um, align. Okay, so I'm going to add the background colors of, of the. So I'm, I'm planning to add flowers on this part, lots of flowers and some trees. So I'm gonna add the background colors here. First, I'm gonna sketch. So I'm gonna do it this way. Also, the another layers of flowers. So here. Okay. And I use the the blue, the same brush, guys. The one inch flat brush, red and yellow to make it uh, dark green. Okay. Okay, now mix more blue, yellow, and red. Okay. Can I add um, dark here? So I think I'm gonna do it later. Another dark green, so yellow, blue, and a little red. Okay, more colors. Okay. more and this part will be some sort of um, grasses so I'm gonna use the yellow again with white
I think I need more yellow. I am using a uh, Reeves acrylic, guys. Yes. Okay. So don't worry, guys. These are just the bas the background colors of the of the landscape that we can uh, paint. Okay. And now I'm going to add the background colors of the stair staircase. So again, I'm going to use the one inch flat brush with um, burnt sienna, black, and yellow. With a little white and blue. This um, staircase is made of stones or rocks. I'm gonna be okay. Second layer. Burn China, black, and yellow. A little white. Okay, now the third layer. Burnishing again and black. My advice to you guys is to keep on practicing. The more you practice, the more you know how to hold different kinds of brush and you need it to improve. Okay, and now the last Okay. Okay. On this part, um, I'm gonna make it a little lighter. So I'm gonna use the white and the same color, the burnishina with a little yellow and black, white. Again, burn white, burn china, and yellow. It's okay, guys, if the staircase is not so straight or because it's made of stone so the more irregular it is the the better oh 
Okay, now we're almost done with our background. I think we're done with the background. I'm gonna start with uh, um, the details. So we're gonna start with the top. And I'm gonna use the this um, flat brush. A one inch flat short bristle sorry yeah maybe I'm gonna use the other one uh, this one okay so it's yellow let's just make it to the green uh, with blue yellow white the little amount of red and yeah, another yellow and white Okay, I'm gonna add uh, some some plants. Make it light. More white. This is how you do it, guys. I call it um, that it like strokes, and do not push it too hard. Just um, soft and enough. To create uh, this kind of fake or texture um, a three three leaves texture okay okay make sure guys that the highlight should be lighter than than the background color so I remember all the stuff. Okay. You just follow what I'm doing guys so just do the dotted like strokes I didn't know what to call that in your language so I just call it the dotted like strokes because it's like you're making dots you can use a fan brush guys if you have or you if you are comfortable using it and the techniques will be the same just like your, what you are seeing here okay i think we're just dry so i think i'm gonna start with the okay that's not too dry i think we're gonna put some dark colors on this um on the on some other parts of the stairs and the uh, flowers okay so I'm going to use the black blue and yellow to create um, dark oh, dark green Okay. 
Just do it this way, guys. Just like I'm um, making fun of the colors. Okay, also here. Another dark color, blue, yellow, and black, red. Okay. Okay. So, gonna start with a staircase. I will be using the one number seven flat brush. Okay. Now I'm gonna start with the light. I oh know I'm dark color first. So black. Um, no, one burn yellow. The little burn china. I think I stick with the black and yellow, guys. So only black and yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna add some sort of line here. So guys, make it irregular the the lines. Okay, don't make it straight. So get some sort of having some cracks on the on the edges. It's fine. Okay. So black and yellow. Okay, and also this part, this one should be a little smaller. Okay, I'll make it um, darker. Okay, and now we are done adding the dark shadings for our staircase to make it a little um, three-dimensional. And now we're gonna mix the blue. Some sort of blue. and black this will be a casted shadows from the from the plants so i'm gonna put it here so i assume that the sun is from the left as always on my paintings so some sort of casted shadows from the left Okay, so make it a little bluish. Okay, <laughs> K 
Okay, guys. So, going to add um, more details on this part of the stair. So, I'm going to mix some um, blue. I mean, I, w I want to make it uh, a little bluish with black and white. Sorry, so I think that's too much. And to uh, add a little um, black and a little bronchina in white. So just apply it directly guys but don't overdo uh, just glaze the color just like um adding some stains or okay I think that's enough so I'm gonna add more dark colors like um, cracks or I'm gonna add um, a little cracks on this part so I'm using the burn china and black okay I'm gonna add a little burn china and black some sort of a huge crack on the stone so later I'm gonna add more details on this part to make it more realistic okay then I'm gonna add more so so the color just add a little white on it add some okay more black a little yellow okay Adding more cracks. Okay, just follow what I'm doing, guys. Just want to make this part a little darker. This part. So you can you can create your own um, design, guys. What you want for this part? 
so here I'm going to add more um, a regular surface like what I'm doing so it's still up to you if you if you want to copy some or create your own I make this part a little darker. Just follow what I'm doing guys and if you like my tutorial please hit like and comment and please subscribe to my channel. So you just have to keep on glazing, adding multiple colors, uh, different values of colors, dark lights to make it uh, more irregular. to add more dark this time a little gray so I'm gonna add, I'm gonna use the black and the white okay adding more grayish color but it has a little yellow on it and again just add it layer by layers you can add more cracks on the surface so I'm gonna add more crack here The more cracks, the better. Okay. Now I'm going to add highlights. So I think I'm gonna use the white so make sure it's thick, the color is thick, and a, li and a little yellow and burn shena. The little yellow and burn shena. First, before that, guys, you should you should um, clean your brush so that it has no other color on it. It will spoil the color. Okay. Take this part. I'm gonna make this as light as possible. Okay. Now add a little burn shena and yellow. Okay. Make some spaces, guys. Don't don't overdo 
and just like what I'm doing I'm adding some spaces like this part okay also here Okay, I want it to be lighter. Okay, nice. And now I'm gonna use a smaller brush for more details. So it's the same color. more details here to make um, some effects of the irregular surface I am currently using a number one flat brush okay. you can use a smaller round brush to make these highlights on the cracks okay that's a little nice adding more highlights here okay Nice. Add more white. So this is a plain white, guys. To add more textures on the, you can use some um, um, acrylic gel or paste to make to create um. A texture that's um, very nice also it will create some 3d textures on your canvas to make it look like more real okay so the crack should have gaps guys between its um, highlights so the more visible the better And add more red. so the same color but darker more yellow for the highlights and I'm going to add more bluish so I'm gonna use the um, number four flat brush with blue and white with black okay so just follow what I'm doing guys You observe guys that my staircase has different colors on it, different values and 
different um, types colors this will create um, some effect that it has depths and and cracks and irregular surface okay just follow what i'm doing guys i think i am almost done with my staircase so if you want to add more elements guys feel free you can add more like flower base or whatever you want then I'm going to uh, with the same brush I'm going to use the dark color black with a little burnt china to add more details not more black here this will create some sort of deep cracks between the between the steps so just add uh, darker colors if you like my tutorial guys please hit like add some comment and subscribe for more videos in the future and visit my website for more paintings or if you wanna see my old works Okay, that's it. And now I'm going to add um, details on the grasses and the plant, uh, the flowers. I'm going to use this brush, the the soft um, short and bristled one inch flat brush. Okay, and I'm going to use the blue. Yellow. You can use a fan brush, guys, if you like, if you are comfortable with using the fan brush. The yellow and white. Make sure it's light because this will be the highlights. So just apply it directly, guys, using the dot like strokes. That's so what you observe and what I am doing now. You can also use a fan brush to create this effect, guys. It's very easy, right? And this part will be lighter. And remember, guys, not to overdo and make some spaces between the plants or the group of plants or vegetations. If you are having a hard time doing this guys, I have also a tutorial on how to paint three leaves. It has uh, the same um, technique to create this effect. Just check the videos on my channel. Also on the left side. The same color. So, you are asking why I this brush is really nice. It's an old brush and it has a scattered um, bristles. And if you have an old brush, don't, don't throw it away. You can use that for uh, three leaves. That's very nice to use. It creates uh, this kind of textures. 
It is really nice for this effect. Anyway, you can use a pan brush. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna add more highlights. So I think I'm gonna use the yellow, pure yellow with white. So again guys, the same technique. If you have a hard time um, painting like this, um, you can check my channel. I have a tutorial on how to paint um, three leaves. It has uh, the same technique on how to paint this one. So maybe you can check it. Okay, and now I'm going to add the flowers. So I'm gonna put different types of flowers. Oh wait, I still need to I think I'm gonna do this first, the grasses. Using the same brush. Blue, yellow, and white. White. So just follow what I'm doing guys. The technique is um, very easy. You can also use a fan brush in doing this type of uh, textures. You can create um, grass like uh, textures. It's not that hard. You just have to practice doing it and the more you practice the more you control your brush and the more you know on how to deal with this type of technique okay that's it i'm gonna need to add the flowers now First, I'm gonna use the number four flat brush, and I'm thinking about um, pink flowers. So I'm gonna use the red, red, white, and I think I'm gonna put it here. Make sure to push it softly, guys, to create the dot like um, strokes. So just follow what I'm doing. And remember guys not to overdo make some small spaces between the flowers okay The flowers on this one guys should be a little bigger than than the top and it's near to us.
That's very easy, right? And also this part. Okay. Another one. Yeah. Okay. So I want more flowers. Black and oh no, <laughs> red and white. Okay. Okay, that's it. So I'm gonna make the highlights, add the highlights of these flowers. I'm gonna use the white and mix it and more, adding more whites. You just have to cover the the darker pink with the lighter one on top of it. Okay, so that's how you do it. Okay, so this one. this one okay that's it see so have now the flowers and then I'm going to mix for a um, purple color flower okay so I'm gonna use the blue and also red so you make a purple and a little white with blue here I uh, really don't know what you call this flower so I just saw this one on Google and I still don't know what what's name what's what is name okay later I'm gonna we're gonna add the highlights also this part okay so I'm gonna add the highlights just add the white and mix it to the purple Okay. Okay, that's it. And the orange flowers. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the yellow and the pink. Just add the the, the yellow in it. To make it an orange, so I'm gonna just put it here. Okay. Also, I'm gonna put it here. Okay. 
Okay. And I'm adding more white on it with more yellow. I'm using the number four flat brush. I really don't know what kind of flower is this, so I just color orange. You can also add the, you know, the flowers you want on your on your painting. So you are free to to choose what flowers you are we're gonna add and this part I'm gonna add the white flower so I'm gonna use directly the white and put it here Okay, so here, so the, the, the same technique guys, the dotted like strokes, it's like you are using on how to paint the grasses or the, the trees, okay. Okay, now I'm almost done with it. Yeah, that's very nice. And to finish this painting, I'm gonna add some tree here and also here. I'm use, I'll be using the same brush, the number four flat brush and black. Wait, burn Shena. I told blue. Gonna put it directly here. Again guys, you should always start with a dark color when you paint uh, the trunks except when the trunk is white or the light colored trunk tree or some sort of like that. Okay. Okay, that's it. And the last, I'm going to add some leaves on that tree. I'm gonna use the blue and the yellow and the red. Okay. Okay. 
you can use a fan brush for this part if you want to, if you are comfortable using it. Okay. And then before I forget, I need to add the highlights. With the uh, number four flat brush, uh, white. yellow and red okay okay also here Okay. Yeah, I think <laughs> Wait, uh, let me think if I have something to put to add uh Yeah. I think this is enough. So I'm going to need to to add more um to call this um mm, retouch so here i'm going to add more highlights okay Okay, I think I am done. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this tutorial, please hit like, add some comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please visit my website for more paintings if you want to see my works. And thank you very much guys for watching this video. And have a nice day.